Hello, uh, we're going to talk about three new triangle congruence theorems. AAS, which stands for angle angle side, HL, which stands for hypotenuse leg, leg leg, those are the, that's the last one. Now these two right here, HL and LL, those are for right triangles. Now these are these three are in addition to angle side angle side 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 and side angle side. So we're going to talk about these uh, one at a time briefly. I'm not going to give a proof of why they work, but I'm going to show demonstrate why they work using numbers. This first one, angle angle side, is really just another version of angle side angle. And both HL and LL are different versions of side, side, side. Well, actually, LL can be looked at as either side, 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 or another way of looking at it would be like side, angle, side. So if you have LL, some people don't even use this one. You can, you can use SAS or LL uh, in, uh, interchangeably. So it doesn't matter which one you use. It's the same thing. But so... So some people say there are five triangle congruence theorems, and then sometimes you see this as well. So the five would be angle side, angle side, 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 angle side, angle, angle side, and hypotenuse leg. And hypotenuse leg is uh, maybe a little confusing. Um, if you can look at it as side, side, angle, but I'm going to think of it as side, side, side. It uses the the Pythagorean theorem. So I'll, I'll look at each one individually, and hopefully it will all make sense. So with angle, angle, side, that uses the basic idea of the three angles inside of a triangle. The three interior angles. They sum, they're, they're sum, is 180 degrees. Now that's that's a fact that is true all the time. It doesn't matter what the shape of the triangle. No matter what, it's always 180 degrees. So let's start looking at something like this. And I'm going to call that 85 degrees. And this will be um, 55 degrees, and we'll call this one, well, it doesn't matter, we'll call it 10, okay? So this right here okay, so what we need, if we're not using angle, angle, side, we need, to be, we need to be able to use one of the others, right? Side, angle, side, 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 or angle, side, angle. And the problem with, with angle, side, angle is that we don't have it in the correct order. What we have is an angle, and an angle, and then a side. And the same thing here. So which it's not one of the ones we have. However, if we think about this, uh, this theorem, the triangle angle sum theorem, if three angle, the interior angles add up to 180, we should be able to find out what this angle is, even if we they don't tell us. Because all we have to do is say, well, 55 plus 85 plus this angle right here, let's call it angle A, has to be equal to 180. Okay, so all you have to do now is solve for A. We can take away 55. We can combine these first to 140, right? Maybe that's what I should have done. 85 plus A, and this is 125 minus 85, and get A. So the measure of angle A is 40 degrees. Now let's say this one over here is C, right? Angle C. 
So we're going to say 55 plus 85 plus C equals 180. Now these are the exact same numbers we had over here. Hopefully you can see that when we solve this, we're going to get the exact same answer. Unless we made a mistake, of course. Now the reason this is important is because we can say, well, these are congruent now, right? A and C, they're both 40. That makes these two right here congruent. So what we have is one pair of angles that are congruent here, one pair of angles that's congruent here, and that makes it angle, side, angle. Now, this works every single time. So instead of having to go all through, through all that work to find this angle, we can just say, well, anytime we have these two angles that we, we know are true, we, should, we could go straight to that. So instead of doing that, we're just going to use angle, angle, side every time that we see it, and it works. Okay? So that's, that's an important uh, theorem. So we have angle, angle, side, and I'll show you the next one. <clears throat> now, leg, leg is for when you have so sometimes you'll see this one <clears throat> this says uh, so the legs in, on a on a right triangle the hypotenuse is if we go straight across the middle of the triangle, that's the 90 degree angle, right? You go straight across the middle of the triangle from the 90 degree angle to the side across it, that's called the hypotenuse. It's also, it's always the longest side in a right triangle. The other two sides are called legs, okay? And so in a right triangle, it's uh, the, the congruence theorem, if it's a right triangle and you know the two pairs of legs are congruent, then the sides are congruent. I mean, I mean, then, then the triangles are going to be congruent. That's what the leg-leg theorem says. So notice what we have here. You really don't have to call it leg-leg. You could if you want, but side-angle-side. Side. Same thing. So this one isn't as important to remember because it really is, if you know side-angle-side, side, anytime you Anytime that there's leg leg, you can use side angle side. It's just as good. It doesn't cause you any extra work. Um, the only the only uh, reason for having this here is sometimes you'll see leg leg, and I don't want you to get confused. Now, the last one is also for right triangles. So this is our hypotenuse. So let's say we have the hypotenuse that's congruent, the hypotenuse pair, and one of the legs. It doesn't matter whether it's this, this pair of legs or this pair of legs. It doesn't matter. But one of the legs. Now notice this pattern is side-side angle, which doesn't work. So we can't use that instead. This one is, an, is, an, is more important because, because of that fact. There are a couple of different ways that you could do this. The, mo the easiest way is to say uh, we have something called the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So let's say we, we have a couple of, um, let's say we have five and three. So, and we know these two have to be congruent, so that means this has to be three. And this has to be five. I mean, obviously, if the hypotenuses are, are congruent, they have to be the same thing, right? So the way this works, C is the hypotenuse. A and B are the two legs. It doesn't really matter which one we call it. We can write it like that or like that. You just have to make sure you're, you know, these are interchangeable. So in this case, what we would have is, 3 
plus whatever number this is, let's call this um, R, and we can call this one T. We can call it anything we want, right? So it's this squared plus that squared is going to be equal to the hypotenuse squared. 3 squared plus T squared gives you 5 squared. So we end up with 3 squared plus R squared equals 5 squared. Over here, we'll have 3 squared plus T squared. Remember, we don't know if these are congruent yet or not. Equals 5 squared. At this point, when you look at them, you should be able to see that they're this part, this part, this part, this part, they match up. They're congruent, right? The only part that's different is the letters. So let's see what we end up with. It should be the same. Oops. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to get R squared all by itself. I want to find out what R is. So I take the square root. R, remember, is just R times R. So we're looking for a number that multiplies by itself to get 16. What is that? 4. The square root of, so you take the square root. That's the inverse operation of squaring something. So the square root of 16 is going to be 4. Okay. Here, same thing. Take away 9. 16, t squared equals 16. t is also going to be 4. So what we end up with is a pair of sides that's congruent, a pair of sides that's congruent, and another pair of sides that's congruent. So this is the equivalent of side, side, side. Now, and you got to remember that this works for high, for uh, right triangles, but right triangles are the only tr type of triangle for which that works, and that's the that's the only reason that you can use it. It's because of the high, the Pythagorean theorem. So side 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 also works. So now we have six, really five, uh, different congruence theorems. There is side side side, which is the same as Hypotenuse leg, just a fancier. Uh, this is this is uh, you can get hypotenuse leg using side side side, but it's a longer a longer process. It's much easier to use that. Your side angle side, which is the same as LL if you ever see it, and then there's angle side angle, which is the same as angle angle side. Okay, so those are the main five congruence theorems that you're going to see most see most of the time. Occasionally, you'll see LL, but I'm not even going to put that one there. I'll leave it on the outside.